Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith and this is your place for professional video production techniques. The subject of this reveal, quick tips for sharpening your video. All right, I'll start out by saying shoot stuff in focus. Use a focus chart. I've shown you how to make one yourself. So always make sure that you're focusing as best you can. Now, sometimes you can't, and maybe sometimes you're blowing up video and you want to sharpen it. Perfectly valid reason. So uh, I, there are several different ways to do this in, in Premiere Pro. I'm going to show you six different ways. You can pick the one you want. It's pretty darn easy, and the results can be quite spectacular. Let's have a look. So the first thing I'm going to do in my effects is I'm going to search for sharpen. And when I do that, I get some presets. So each one of these I've dragged up into the top area here for each video. I've got three different examples on the right hand side. Convolution kernels and then a little bit lower. This is Yarl's presets, which um, I've looked at before in presets. Um, you can use that one. I'm just going to close that up for now. And then down in blur and sharpen. I'm going to bring up the sharpen and unsharp mask. So as you notice up here for each of these clips, I've got the four convolution kernels, sharpen and unsharp mask. I, you don't apply every single one of them. I just have them on very easily so we can turn them on and turn them off and, and uh, see the example. Sharpening occurs when you get high contrast on an edge. And that's the same for images, for Photoshop, for video, for everything. The edges are showing you where the contrast is, not flat areas. So each one of these are going to, they're going to use different methods for sharpening. Convolution kernels actually, um, if you come from the old school of Photoshop in the world of chops or channel operations, this, this is similar to that. It's offsetting, moving different channels around to give you that kind of uh, sharpening. So here's an example where um, on the right, this particular video is, uh, there's a lot of fine edges in here with this hair and it actually looks pretty darn good. But if we start to add uh, some of these by turning them on, you'll see a, a, a significant difference. So that's on and that's off and that is, you know, pretty radical uh, view in here. And if, and if we twirl this down, you can see a ton of different choices in this particular effect. And this is using a Gaussian sharpen. So this is, again, uh, a lot like uh, channel operations or unsharp mask where it's softening some things and offsetting them. And that's where it gets that, that sharpening. So that's the first one. This is kernel sharpening. And you can see that's a bit more subtle. You can see that definitely around this area in uh, that monkey and just in those whiskers right there. Boom. Pretty nice. I like that one. Uh, then there's the kernel sharpen edges. And this one is just plain out wacky. I, I put it there just so you know what it is. And I think this next one is the same. No, that one's pretty good too. In fact, you're getting a little, little bit more in this area here. Then we just have the regular sharpen value, which to me looks a heck of a lot like this one, but maybe toned down a bit. And if I twirl this down, you can see there's a sharpen amount. By default, it's, it's that 148 value. And you can turn this up and turn this down. And you notice if you turn it down, you're actually going the opposite way uh, and making this a little bit soft. And um, so that's the default value for sharpen. Let's turn that off. And unsharp mask, this is the same unruly thing that, that Photoshop has where there's an amount of radius and a threshold. The, the amount is the amount of sharpening. The radius is how far it's, it's uh, looking at, at those pixels and, and blurring them out uh, because it does an, a, a blur and an offset. And then the threshold, which pixels are going to be in the, um, uh, sh which pixels will be sharpened, which, which uh, value and which won't. So if you turn this all the way up, you're not going to really see a big difference, but if you start to change that and push the radius, now you'll see that typical halo effect that you get 
when you push Unsharp Mask too far in Photoshop. You know, <clears throat> Unsharp Mask is it, got a lot of power, but it's also one that you can easily start to to go over top. So I don't know if I would be a big fan of using that one. Let's look at all the same ones for this video, and you can see this one uh, looks okay. It's a but if we go through the same ones, wow, huge difference. Maybe pushing it a little bit too much. There's the kernel sharpen, a little bit better. Uh, sharpen edges, that's the crazy one. Convolution kernel, that one looks good. Sharpen also looks good because we have more control over just bringing that value down a little bit if it was too much. And then unsharp mask, as I was just showing you, starts um, really light and then we can push that. And now we've got that looking uh, sharper. It also looks a little bit grungier and maybe for this kind of a shot, it's okay. Sometimes, you know, I've seen that high contrast, badass, super sharpening kind of look in your face. Sharpening should never just be one thing. The last example I have here is a frame that's been enlarged 150% and you can see we've got some fine edges in uh, his beard and around his uh, eyes and, and skin. So let's again go through each one of these. Yikes! Wow! So this is the exact same settings of all of the, the other uh, two images applied here and you can see it really does depend on the, the image that you're working on. Whoo! Wow! That first one no good. And now the second one, actually, this one looks a little bit better. Maybe pushing it um, up to the white a bit too much. And of course, that uh, kernel sh sharpen edge is kind of crazy. Sharpen more. That one looks uh, pretty good. Sharpen now, by the, the default of sharpen for this image is way too much. So you could pull that down from there to there. And then unsharp mask same kind of thing if we start pushing that we're going to get this very halo-y kind of look all right so lots of different ways to sharpen in here sharpening is by no means a global fix for things uh, remember to shoot in focus first but sometimes you get handed stuff and somebody says make this sharper lots of controls inside premiere pro you have to treat each image uh, uh, in a specific way. If you're doing this to an interview shot and there's a bunch of other clips, remember to use a master clip effect and I have tutorials for that in there. All right, so let's get your videos looking sharp and uh, riveting. If you found this informative, then please click on the subscribe button to Video Revealed. If you're not already an Adobe Creative Cloud user, there's a link in the description for you to get your special URL to get your free 30-day uh, trial version. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith, and it's my job to get you looking your best.